What's up, Tim Sykes here. It is evening with my view overlooking this penthouse view here in Cairns, Australia. And I'm filming here at night just because I never have. I thought, oh, I, you know, I want to like do a video. I want to answer some questions, but it's like dark out. Should I wait till the morning? And I'm just like, let me do something different. And I think that's a good lesson in itself. Do something different. Do something that not necessarily like is totally crazy. I'm not saying like jump off a building and see what happens. Um, but try different stuff that you've never done before. I literally, in all of my thousands of videos, I've never done a video like this where the lighting is not good. You can barely see my face. I think probably because I'm like afraid people like, I don't know, they can't see me. So like they think like the quality is bad or I don't know. I don't know why I, I never have done it. It doesn't really matter. Um, I know a lot of students who just listen to my voice and they listen to the lessons. And I think this is a good lesson. Um, it's not just about knowing, you know, your, your basic patterns. It's not just about knowing which stocks are best to buy and to short and what time is good to buy and short stocks and when you don't trade and what broker to have. Like, you also have to have the right mindset. Never, ever, 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 ever forget that 90% of traders lose. Um, leave a comment actually underneath this video saying, I will never forget. Because you really have to think about this. Like people are in chat rooms galore and they're like, ah, oh, everything moves so fast. I can't follow along, especially newbies. And I'm like, why are you following other people? There's a 90% chance that they're just losing. And a lot of people just lie, you know? So if, you, if you're following somebody and you think like, oh, they're so good. They're like, they're probably just lying. It's... It makes me tired, it makes me sad what the trading industry is, but at the same time, we can fix it. You know, I think I was the first one to really institute, you know, this, well, I'm about to sneeze. I was trying to like plug my nose so that I wouldn't sneeze. Anyways, I'm staying up here all night in Australia. Um, the stock market is open at night. But I think I was the first one to really say, hey, we need to be fully transparent, show every single trade. And I think that's so important. I really don't trust people in trading or in finance or on Wall Street. You know, Bernie Madoff was president of what, the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange? Like, he was one of the most powerful people on Wall Street and he was totally BS. So think about the non-powerful people. Um, I think that you have to assume that people are full of BS before they prove themselves innocent. So if you ever think like, is this person telling the truth? Have them show you every single trade, all their details, not just their profits and losses, not just their end of the month uh, profits, which I see some people doing or, you know, just putting in random numbers into like a spreadsheet and being like, look how much I made on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. And look how it adds up over time. If the world was that simple, everybody would be rich and 90% of traders would not lose. If you look at academic study after academic study, 90% of traders lose. It's a very dark industry. Okay. It's dark right here in Cairns, Australia, and we're in a dark industry. That's one other analogy that I wanted to make. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm perfect. You know, I lose quite often. I lose roughly a third of the time, but I am proud to be fully transparent and show every single trade. And that, frankly, is why I believe that I've earned people's trust over time. But it's okay if you don't trust me. It's okay if you don't believe me. Uh, my first online hater became my first millionaire also. So it's cool when you can turn your haters into millionaires. It's cool when you can prove yourself over the years. A lot of people message me like, Tim, I saw your Lamborghini or I saw you on Steve Harvey and I thought you were full of crap at first. And then over time, you prove yourself. That's the beauty of being real. I'm not that smart. I'm not that good at math. I just stick around and I wait for opportunities and I wait for the right setups and I wait for when students want to come to me. I'm not forcing anybody. I'm actually overwhelmed. Someone said like, you know, I didn't buy a Bitcoin stock the other day. So they're like, you know, you're going to fail. You're going to lose all your credibility. And I was like, I hope I would get more sleep. Um, the beautiful thing about being real, don't mistake this for, you know, ego or, you know, cockiness. It's just experience. And experience teaches me that being real in an industry full of frauds and fakes is good. And there's value to that. So you might not agree with all my lessons. You might not agree with my approach. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of people being like, don't film in the dark anymore. It's tough to watch. I don't care. Okay. 
I try different ways to get to you to see that I'm real so that you don't follow some newbie who doesn't show all their trades or somebody who's been trading for one or two, three years and claims to know everything or somebody who you know has hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars and uses it on trades and then they make 10,000 in a day and they say, I made 10,000 in a day and Sykes only made 300. I'm a better trader. When in fact, if you look at the percentage of money used and the risk taken, I am infinitely better than people who bet big with a big account. I trade with a very small account and I even donate all of my profits from trading to charity, okay? Some people say, oh, do you make more from teaching or from trading? And I'm like, well, considering I had trade with such a small account and I have all of the money that I make from trading go to charity, I make more from teaching because that's my main business. Although my top selling how to make millions guide all goes to charity too. I'm donating a shitload to charity because I want to. Not because I need to, not to look good, but because I want to change the world. I don't know if you can see this. This is my new charity brand. Um, it's still a Karmagawa. You know, we have the Karmagawa Foundation, our, which was formerly the Timothy Sykes Foundation. We're always adapting, trying to build the community and trying to realize our full potential. The Timothy Sykes Foundation is nice in my name, but I don't need anything in my name anymore. I have 50 schools built now. I'm tired of seeing my name. Karma Gawa is a nice community now. We have nearly 400,000 followers on social media, which is crazy. Um, and now this is called Save the Reef because savetheReef.org was available for just $1,500. A huge, huge deal because I don't think people really care about saving the reef enough. They don't prioritize it. So created a t-shirt, started a brand. It's still all part of the Timothy Sykes Foundation. It's just a new name. And it focuses on people who want to save the reef because that's why I'm here in Australia. That's why I'm staying up all night. And I need to make these videos just as kind of like a video diary, um, just to you know tell you what I'm thinking, to try new stuff, to get you to think differently. Like I said, 90% of traders lose. A lot of it is just because they don't think outside the box. They don't respect counterintuitive lessons. Um, you know, cutting losses quickly is not popular, it's not fun, it's not exciting, but it's necessary. A lot of people like trade, you know, ballsy and they're over aggressive and they go for, you know, big wins and they don't cut losses quickly and they fall into the 90%. So I don't want you to be just another statistic. I want you to differentiate yourself. Think outside the box. Film when it's dark at night. Go swimming, maybe not in the ocean here because there's crocodiles and jellyfish, but go swimming when, you know, you wouldn't normally. Try different stuff and see how it feels. You might learn something. I'm not even like a big water guy. Now I own savetheReef.org, but I'm fascinated at how much the reef can do. It's like 50% of our oxygen. There are so many um, creatures, sea creatures and mammals and humans who depend on it too. So we're gonna have a whole documentary and expose. So I'm trying something new. Um, try different stuff and kind of like dip your toe into it. When you're learning a new trading strategy, you don't have to go all in with your account. Be like, oh, it's a new strategy. Tim says to just try it, so I'm going all in. No, dip your toe in. You can always try a new strategy and buy 100 shares or don't even risk any money. Just paper trade. Use stocks to trade software, okay? That's the beauty of trading. Like a lot of people are like, oh, Tim, you're wrong on this trade. You were wrong. You're terrible. And I'm like, well, I had 1,000 shares, okay? The beautiful thing about cutting losses quickly and also your position size, you can really change your dollar amount. When I see a setup I'm really comfortable with that I know inside and out, I take bigger positions. I get more aggressive. And I think that's the way that it should be. When I'm trying a new position, when I'm trying something speculative, I don't take a big position because I don't know that much. So respect what you know and what you don't know. Always be trying new stuff, but that doesn't mean go all in and you know just be overly cocky and think that everything is gonna succeed. For all I know, savethereef.org, maybe it won't work out. You know, The reef is a big problem, maybe I'll fail. But I have to try it because I want to. It's you know, frankly, my honor to do this. I have a whole group of friends who are videographers and photographers and travelers and big on social media. So I think that we can actually do some good like we did with the Rhino uh, cause, which our video got over 30 million views, raised six figures for different conservation uh, charity groups. So long story short, try new stuff, but also respect that that new stuff is untested and you don't have to try everything all at once. You don't have to put all your eggs in one basket. Just be a little more open-minded. I was a philosophy major in college, so I think that's helped me as opposed to financial people where they all think alike, they all have formulas, they all 
think that it's good to like bet big and make as much money as you can right away. And I'm like, no, let me test new strategies, new patterns, new rules. And it's more of a tester, tinkerer, like kind of scientist, experimental way of growing my money and trying different strategies, trying different companies, seeing different stuff, you know, like no different than if you see me at a restaurant, like I'm ordering different stuff off the menu. I order like four or five different appetizers instead of just, you know, one or two main courses. I'm trying smaller dishes. I like that. So leave a comment underneath this video if you know what I'm saying and just try new stuff, okay? Be open-minded. Whatever you think you are so certain of, understand that as you travel more and as you grow more and as you get older, you start thinking, wait, or you should start thinking like, wait, like I don't know as much as I once thought. The world is a massive place and it's fun and interesting and good to try new things in finance, in trading, and in life. Cheers, have a good night. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire, mentor, and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.